Arsenal fan TV, Mo, really disappointing today. I can see you look disappointed oh. in your face. I mean, we shouldn't really have lost that game, should we? No, I disagree. I think we should have, man. I you do? Yeah, I really do. I Why we, is that? Because I think we just showed a lot of naivety and a lot of, a, a lot of naivety, a lot of slop, sloppiness. Not enough bottle, not enough courage, both defensively in challenges and also attacking in terms of committing to things, you know, going forward. I really think we did uh, deserve it. And like, the way I see it, right, the way Arsenal play is... Um, it, we, we try and play a passing game and that passing game works when there's a high tempo uh, of passing and real fluidity. When Premier League managers, in my opinion, know they're playing Arsenal on the weekend, they'll be telling their team, all you've got to do, and you'll know whether your system is working or not, get those two banks of fours. And if you see Arsenal playing sideways in front of you, in that kind of semicircle, going round the area, then the system is working. And when Arsenal are doing that, managers will be looking at the clock, ticking down thinking systems working they'll give us a chance because we are sloppy we're getting used to this new formation with our wing backs pushing way too high and we we didn't learn our lessons against Leicester who got in behind us so many times after sloppy passing got into those channels and they put in the the most consistent consistently brilliant quality crosses that I've seen in any, any Premier League game in memory but we didn't learn from that. Again today, sloppy passing and Hesse on the left wing. I thought he was fantastic. He had a brilliant game on his Premier League debut because he had so much space. It should have been a baptism of fire for him, but it wasn't. It was made easy for him. And also, you know, I've heard a, 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 a few people saying we created enough chances. I didn't, we didn't create enough chances. There, we there, did create a lot of chances, Mo. So, but hold on, Mo, wait, wait. So there's a chance that Welbeck had when he was through, right? Yeah that he's hit straight at the goalkeeper. There's Giroud right at the end. He's the ball's um, sent into him. He's got yeah. a free header. He puts that wide, right? Yeah. There's the Lacazette one, which yeah. everybody now is saying to me was onside. We created at least four chances that on another day we should have buried. I was watching that Man United game today and that was a very tight game, but they took their chances. Yeah. That 4-0, it looks at you, you look on that and you think, wow, they absolutely blitzed Swansea. They didn't, but they took their chances. But let me now, explain why I say that, Robbie, because th there's two Arsenal teams. There's an Arsenal team that comes out on the pitch and there's an Arsenal team that's one goal down. And it's every single team, when they're chasing a game, when they're losing a game and they're committing players forward, they are going to create chances, still right? chances no, no, and no, he's got to put them in. But hear me out. Can win 3-1, 2-1. This, one, this, two is, one. Why, this is why I'm not willing to say, oh yeah, we created chances. We should not be waiting. I want, I want Arsenal to come out, not waste a first half, not waste a, a vast majority of the game. What chances... But we created but, chances in the first half as no, well. What, what chances did we create? We, there was we a got chance in, with Welbeck that was in the first half. He was through, he hit the ball straight at Jack Butland. Jack Butlin had to pull off um, two to three good saves in the first half. We right. created chances. The only, the only chance of note that I remember, obviously we're 100 yards away, but mm. was a, a cross going into Ramsey at the back post where Butlin came Ramsey out. had a chance that he should have but, scored but again. That, Robbie, I really, mean, we created chances. I, I, listen, I, I accept we created chances when we were 1-0 mm. down, but every team creates chances when they're pushing men forward and committing to that extent. I don't think we showed nowhere near enough quality in the final third. I don't think we created oh, no, enough. No, we didn't. We, we, I, I don't think we, our finishing was terrible. No, but even but, the final ball, even mm. the final ball. And where was that zip in our passing? It was very easy for Stoke. You play a game for 90 minutes, you're going to hit in a couple of decent crosses. But like um, I'm referring to Leicester, they created a hell of a lot of chances in that game. We're Arsenal Football Club. What did we create in this game? We create when we're 1-0 down, but why does it take for us to go 1-0 down? Yeah, well, they Where? went 1-0 down last week. And then that's when they created the chances and they no, scored. To be, to but be, they took the to chances. Be fair, Robbie, they equalised in the fifth minute. Do you know what I mean? That they were 1-0 down and yeah. then they took their chances. So that's what I'm saying. But Robbie, it's about taking your chances and we, Robbie, today we didn't. It's always to the latter end of the game. We're a second half team. Even Leicester, again, you look at them today. They scored in the first minute. I think it's hard to say that they only come out the blocks when they when they go one 0 down. Okay, let, let, let me just ask you. Um, finally, Liverpool next week. That's going to be really tough. It's the worst possible you know away game to have. Or on the other hand, it could be a turning point game that if finally we went there and did something. Liverpool are as erratic and inconsistent as us. They're as unpredictable as us. So it's, it's impossible to predict that game. You know, it really is. I I don't know what's going to happen in that game. But you know, I'm not over today. One thing I want to mention today, I don't like digging players out. I don't like criticising them. But Bellerin today, I know he's on the left-hand side. But to me, it doesn't matter where you're playing. When there's a 50-50, mm. when there's a chance of potentially winning a penalty or getting clattered, or you can either let the defender come in and kick it out for a corner, yeah. 
you cannot bottle these you cannot bottle these challenges it doesn't matter you know people will all say oh but he's playing left wing back doesn't matter when it comes to a 50 50 you just go in and i saw that all across the pitch it's not just bellerin but he did it too many he did it more times than anyone else today and what really pissed me off you've got granite Xhaka. he's meant to be our tough guy joe allen of all people joe allen absolutely mugged him off in the in the bottom left hand of the pitch where we were and then I looked at Xhaka's reaction to that and he actually had a laugh and a joke with him and gave him a little high five that's that should be hurting your pride you know I mean come on you can't be doing that I remember watching a clip of Alexis in training getting megged in a little rondo by Gabriel and afterwards he kicked a ball at the cameraman because he was embarrassed like it, it got mm. to him there was a bit of pride do you know what i mean that he was um, what do we need him back he was you know he was a bit gut he was a bit gutted by that and granite Xhaka today getting mugged off by joe allen that guy's inferior to you come on for god's sake where is your pride it was like that all along when their players are down injured stop looking over your shoulder play the flipping game just play on i don't know why in our club no one's gone up to them and say Anyone that kicks the ball out when the referee doesn't stop the game, one match fine, what one week fine. Simple as that. That's the rule. If you don't want it, get the hell out of our club. Because this is what we need to start cultivating. A bit of killer mentality. We were missing spark today, and that spark goes by the name of Alexis Sanchez. And that's why last season when people criticize him for giving the ball away too much or being a bit too selfish or oh he's being nasty to his teammates I don't give a crap about all of that sort of stuff because he's the sort of player that won't clap you when he leaves a pitch but he'll do all of his business on the pitch and today we've got all the players giving us I don't give a crap about your claps put your body on the line give it 100% that's what I care about now my weekend's ruined standing out here in Stoke in the rain. That's not what I come to football for. All the Wenger in, Wenger out crap's gonna start now. That's not a fun season. That's not what I want. Still so early, put man. Put the work Still in. early. The last thing I wanna say. <laughs> Still early. Um, I'm not going to Liverpool next week because I'm going to Hudge, right? Mm. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot more peaceful, <laughs> a lot more spiritual. And it's my obligation as a Muslim to just to say, look, anyone, anyone watching, yourself or my friends, whatever, if I've offended you in any way, if I've committed any sin against you, whether you know about it or not, I might have been slagging you off behind your back, you know, whatever. Please forgive me. Please make that, that include me, yeah? <laughs> and me. Yes. Does that include me? Yes, Robbie. <laughs> yes, troops. <laughs> yes, Tal. But no, look. You have no blame, Messi. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, you, Kalechi. But look, no, sincerely, sincerely, if I've committed anything, please take that conscious decision to forgive me. And um, if I owe you any money, get in touch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and look, I'll be in touch. And right? the one thing I will say, I will be praying my heart out for Arsenal when I'm doing my when I'm doing my twelfth. You know, I'll be praying my heart out for Arsenal because boy, we need it. So if we win against Liverpool, it's all me.